welcome back to my channel. This is Gina B. Living Foley, where I typically do Dollar Tree hauls once a week, mostly on Sundays. And I'm, I'm kind of new to YouTube still, and I've been getting requests. Thank you, by the way, to my new subscribers. I've been getting requests to feature recipes from some of the food that I get from Dollar Tree. Um, by the way, thank you so very much to the new subscribers. And if you are new to my channel and you are seeing this for the first time and you like Dollar Tree content, please, please, I invite you to like, share, subscribe, and join my micro mini channel. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting really close to 500 subscribers, so I'm really excited about that. But today I'm here making you, as I promised, um, from the comments I had on my last video to make my little pasta from all Dollar Tree items or 99.9% .9 Dollar Tree items. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I have some pots here that I'm working with. Hold on, I'm just gonna move up here and lower the heat on one of these. Um, I'm going to show you what I have going so far. So as you know, at Dollar Tree, they have been stocking really large um, Columbia brand pasta. And let me reach, I'm gonna just go ahead, we don't have to worry about focusing in. But this is the featured item. It's huge, it's Dollar Tree, $1.25, you can't beat it. Uh, I pay a lot more for this at a regular grocery store, so if you're pinching pennies, this is a great way to go, okay? So we're working with these little elbow macaronis, Okay, we are also featuring the Beyond Burger brand. I have two things I'm going to work with here so that I get that rich meat flavor um, and not get the meat and the cholesterol. Uh, Beyond Burger has been featured at my Dollar Tree anyway here in Placerville. It's been featured every time I go there. And I was just at the grocery store and they wanted six something for the same exact package. And the Beyond Breakfast Sausage as well. I have a few of these left and I'm just going to add them to the mix so that I have a little spice going. But these also are only $1.25 at my Dollar Tree. And I got to say they taste really flavorful. I believe my husband made a couple of sliders and he said they were amazing. So here we go. Hold on. I also am featuring their vegetables. Now I could, you could also just go to the store and get your fresh organic veggies, but I'm trying to make this 100% true to the Dollar Tree tradition. They always have the TJ Farms veggies and we'll be making these, okay, for our veggies. And then I also have, it's in the freezer right now, that's going to be in the next video after this one, part two will be dessert where I make a traditional affogato Italian dessert with Dollar Tree items. So finally, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some avocado oil, okay? This I get at Trader Joe's. You can get it at any grocery store. It's pretty reasonable, non-GMO, and it's excellent for your health, especially if you're going to heat it up. When you heat up oils, that can contribute to your cholesterol levels, so avocado oil is one of your safest bets, and that is what I'm going to be putting on the bottom of this pan here. So I'm not making a huge batch because there's just two of us. This is about two tablespoons of oil and uh, it's going to help these little particles of non-meat not to stick at the bottom, okay? So let me go ahead and get my stove on. We're gonna put it on medium. Now this stuff is still pretty cold. Um, you can do it frozen, okay? It's, go it's going to heat up just fine in the pan. And we're gonna start with these little sausages. They're already de-thawing. But when you're working with the Beyond brand, you really don't need to actually, um, oops, hold on. Let me get that out of there. Uh, they look like this, and I'm gonna be breaking them up once I get them in the pan, okay? Making this small batch, and probably going to use one batch of the, um, 
just one of the little burgers here, okay? So four patties. So I believe you got six total. If you have a, just a really small family, let me tell you something. Uh, six for $1.25, that's a screaming deal. You can really feed a lot of people with that. Um, even if it's, like I said, if you're a small family, maybe, you know, parents and a couple of children, you've got plenty to make a little pasta sauce. So, I think we're trying to focus in, so if this is looking a little shaky right now, don't worry, I think we're good. And I think we won't be touching that camera anymore. <laughs> Sorry for that inconvenience. I am very true to my little craft. I am always determined never to edit. I like the challenge of non-edited videos. Don't ask me why, it's a pressure I like. I'm just gonna go ahead and dispose of this. What I will do is put it in a Tupperware and save it for another meal. So, here we go, we're bubbling, and I'm gonna start separating this product here. And yes, I splatter. I'm a messy girl. I'm a messy Italian girl. So just breaking this up. Now, if you didn't want to worry about any dethawing, then please, by all means, I would say it takes about 30 minutes to dethaw a Beyond Burger. And, you know, by all means, go ahead and do that. But I just take it right out of the package and put it in. It's not like meat. Uh, it, it is a different product for sure. It is a plant-based product and lots of vegan people use it or vegetarians use it in lieu of meat products. But I really am favoring the Beyond Burger sausage just for the simple reason that the spices in there lend itself to making like a pasta sauce or maybe um, making a really beautiful breakfast skillet where you add your um, maybe egg whites to it or potatoes, just a potato um, skillet meal in the morning. That always makes for such a wonderful meal. But what the heck, you can make it for dinner too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over, let this cook for a little bit before I add spices, okay? So I'm putting the lid on and letting that simmer for a bit. Over here, I have my salted, so let me also feature the Himalayan sea salt that's in a grinder from the Dollar Tree, goes in my water. I fill my pot about half to three quarters full. Again, I'm not using all those noodles. So we're making probably about half of these. You're getting two meals in one. Um, but I just salt the water. I just do a few grinds of this Himalayan sea salt. By the way, this at my Trader Joe's, at my, um, oh gosh, there's a, it's called the forklift up here. It's like a Trader Joe's. Um, I live in Placerville, California. It's a very tiny mountain town, uh, gold mining town, historical town. And we do not have all the regular conveniences. So we do have one special store called the Forklift and their sea salt is through the roof. It is through the roof. It's in excess of six, seven bucks. So I hightail it to my Dollar Tree to get my Himalayan sea salt. And it's pink Himalayan sea salt. Very healthy for you, very healthy. Um, so I salt the water so that the noodles won't stick. That's something my Nona taught me. And we've all seen that on cooking shows, you know, salt your water before you put your pasta in. And then over in the far, far corner here, I have my little old Nona pot where I'm going to be um, gently cooking, steaming my peas and carrots. Uh, the peas and carrots, I feel, cook really, really well. Very slow, steamed, they come up and they don't have that freeze or burn taste. And I do add a heaping tablespoon of a vegan butter to give it a little extra flavor. And then, you guys, I've been finding real um, Kelowna grated Parmesan cheese 
at the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Put a comment in the comments below and let me know if you have actually ever in your life found real Parmesan cheese at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, no additives. It is simply Parmesan cheese. So I was really excited to find that. Okay, I can tell this is happening. So I'm gonna bring my heat down. Okay, bringing the heat down. Switching my lid and see it's all gonna break up now. And this is the base of my marinara sauce, my meat-based marinara sauce, okay? So yeah, it's really beginning to break up just like a regular burger would, okay? And yeah, it's, it's very similar consistency to meat. You can do this for a taco sauce, um, a stew, a soup, and like I said, it would make a most awesome little morning skillet if you added some egg whites or if you just added like skillet potatoes and this, it would be so awesome. All the spices I'm using, now typically I have a lot of fresh um, herbs and spices that I work with when I do like a traditional grandma or what I say Nona style um, sauce. It's We call it Sunday gravy. Um, cooks all day. This is what I call a short Dollar Tree version. Um, here we go. So we we do typically use fresh herbs and, and all of that. But I'm staying true to the Dollar Tree tradition and I'm going to be using all items from Dollar Tree. Now, these have a lot of salt in them. So I'm going to ask and beg you, don't use salt in your meat sauce until you've tasted it at the end because they do use a lot of salt to make these non-meats taste like meat. So that's the downfall. If you are really, really watching your salt, maybe don't do this. But you know, even though my husband and I are, are watching our salt, we're fine with just not adding the extra, okay? so. We're going in with some Dollar Tree basil, all right? This was at my Dollar Tree. Uh, again, put a comment in the comments below and let me know if you ever find basil at your Dollar Tree. But basil leaves from the Dollar Tree. And then Italian seasoning, I always find at the Dollar Tree. I think I found it there the first day I ever went many, many years ago. I'm just sprinkling enough, just sprinkling enough okay you probably would be smart to just add like maybe a teaspoon of each to start and see if you like that if you're not an herby person don't don't use that you don't need that there are some sauces out there that are simply tomato sauce with a lot of black cracked pepper but i like it this way um here is the ground thyme this is ground thyme and I happened to find that at the Dollar Tree during the Thanksgiving season. I believe that's when they tend to have sage and thyme and rosemary. Um, in the summer, not so much. But um, here we go. We're just getting that. You can, oh, it smell. It's smelling really good, you guys. It's smelling really good. And uh, because of all of the seasoning, you really don't need a tremendous amount of, and you can see that my oil and the liquid is kind of evaporating. We want that because we're going to get those little caramely bits at the bottom when I pour the liquids in. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Really, truly trying to get that meat flavor, okay? Now... Going in because, again, traditionally, I'm using fresh vegetables, fresh herbs, fresh everything. But when I'm doing a Dollar Tree thing, we're going with their chopped onions that are dried, okay? And I'm going to put quite a bit in there. Hold on. Sometimes these stick. There it. There we go. So I'm just putting these in. I'm sprinkling. You want to put in at least, I would say about... I would say a tablespoon. 
if you really want that onion flavor, okay? These will evaporate into the sauce when I get the liquids in. Um, and it's just gonna add some goodness there. And then of course, garlic powder. So let me, I'm gonna turn this way down. My water's starting to boil, so. Yep, I'm getting some caramely bits, all of that. And then garlic by McCormick. This was not from Dollar Tree. Uh, but I do, I do find garlic at Dollar Tree all the time, you guys. Powdered garlic is always there. And I would say, you know, if you're garlic sensitive, just go with a little half teaspoon first. You know, do it to taste. And then the rest of the seasonings will go in last. And these seasonings are my little secret weapon for getting my Nona's flavoring. All right. So what you have here is a beautiful, looking just like how you start a pasta sauce, right? Looks like ground meat. It smells very fragrant, ready for some liquid. Here's a trick. So I, every year, grab the pumpkin puree at the Dollar Tree. It's $1.25. It was cheaper than all the other stores. A little bit of this is going to change the flavor a tiny bit and give the sauce this wonderful hearty hearty flavor i'm telling you if you give it a try you're gonna like it especially during the fall months but i'm only using about this much so this is my little wooden device now in the fall i would put like two or three of those to really add a lot of pumpkin flavor um, I'm not doing this to fully flavor. It it's just adds this hint of like, oh, what is that? And it, it, it just stretches the sauce in a way that is divine. Okay, so we're putting that in. Okay, now I'm going to go into, where am I? Here, I'm lowering this heat now. And we're adding in, from the Dollar Tree, the pasta sauce. Again, lots of salt already, guys. You're not going to need salt. Traditional pasta sauce from Hunt's. Okay, going in with this. There we go. And I'm using just a little bit at a time here. Okay. Just a little bit at a time. And... I'm pouring in an entire, by the way, these little Del Monte Harvest at my Dollar Tree have been great. These diced tomatoes, I use these for everything. So put the whole can of those in and it comes with some liquid. And again, we have plenty of salt here. Plenty. We don't need any more. So now we're going to let this simmer. And as it begins to simmer and become more concentrated we want to add the trick here is to add little bits of liquid so i'm going to start just by adding i can grab right from here okay where my noodles are i'm just going to grab a little bit of liquid and put that in there i should have had a little glass of water here but i didn't so here we go Look how nice this pasta sauce looks. And that's what we're working with right now. So this is going to gauge your time. You're gonna, you're gonna want this to cook down for a while. I, you know, you want this to cook down for a while. So, you know, my time that I'm sharing here with you isn't the exact time. I would typically let this go and just watch it and keep little bits of liquid going into it uh, probably for about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's going to taste like it's cooked a long time, but it, it's, it's a quick meal for your family. So let's go ahead and switch this over. You want this to come up to a little boil. Not a boil, but just like a little rolling thunder. <laughs> and again, here I have this water. It's ready to go. I've turned it way down. We want this to come up now. All right. And once it starts to really go, I'm going to add these special spices. So as soon as we've seen a bubble. Another thing, while I wait for this to come up, I want to show you. So my favorite drink right now, 
I've got this big picture here, is the Taviv Peppermint Tea. So I found Taviv Peppermint Tea, which is actually quite expensive at the health food store in my neighborhood, and it was $1.25. I grabbed lots of these. You guys, mint tea, peppermint tea is so good for your gut. And this is a great infusion. So we call it herbal tea, but do you know that if there's no caffeine in it, it's actually called an infusion. Remember that. Um, so this infusion, if I put two to four of these, some, I like it concentrated. I like to put four in this big pitcher, in this big pitcher. You can either A, heat up water on the stove, pour it in and just let it rest for an hour or two. I love to put three to four of these with water and stick it out in the sun. We've all heard of sun tea, correct? So I love doing that. And on such a budget, you guys, such a budget, these at my health food store run anywhere from $4.50 to $6.50, and I got it for $1.25. Screaming deal, run to Dollar Tree and look for these, okay? Seriously, look for it. Um, they had other herbal infusions. They had chamomile, and they had a detox, and they had an immunity tea. Those were not Taviv. Taviv is expensive, and it happened to be at my Dollar Tree. So there you have it. If you find it, grab it. It's worth its weight in gold. If you have a little tummy upset, you just make a strong infusion of that and sip on it. Very, very helpful. So switching this lid, we're now coming to a beautiful simmer here. So unlike meat, what I like about the Beyond Burger product is that it cooks so fast and you don't have to worry about raw meat or making sure it cooks through. It's a pre-cooked product. It um, is the most beautiful product to work with if you're on a limited cholesterol diet and you need to watch your meat intake. So now I'm getting this nice, colorful sauce. And what that pumpkin did is it gave it that cooked all day orange look and it's gonna taste really good. So. Let's go ahead and do a quick little taste test. I'm just gonna taste to see where we're at. Oh man. Oh, that is good. All right, and it's ready. All you have to do now is bring it up and let it go for about 15, 20 minutes and it's totally ready to serve. So what I'm gonna do, this is not from Dollar Tree, this is organic cinnamon. And this is my weapon, okay? Uh, I put in just a couple, just a couple to give it a special flavor. You guys will not be disappointed. I also, from the Dollar Tree, um, during the, the fall months, I always grab the ground cloves and just a hint of clove, okay? You have to be really careful not to over cinnamon or I just went boop, boop. And then we're just gonna do this quick, I mean, that was a tiny amount, okay? Dashing of the clove. And you're going to have the most flavorful, like cooked all day tasting sauce. You guys, you're gonna love this. Okay, so as this is simmering, we're gonna go over and we're gonna pour the uh, probably, yeah, noodles, we're doing noodles. <laughs> Sorry, no editing, y'all. I'm doing it on my own here, quick and ready. So we're gonna get this water boiling again, okay? And I'm working with about, I would say about half, just about half is all we need, okay? I'm gonna pour it in, it's already hot. You can see the steam coming up, just, Gonna pour it directly in, okay. Working with about half of these noodles. That's, I think, more than enough. So you guys, I've got half of the box left for another meal. 
How do you like that? So we're just going to secure that up and put it aside. Okay. And we're going to bring this up to a nice boil. Okay. Now we have the time management stuff. And while I'm making this video, I personally decided I'm not going to be... Um, in video number two, so go to the next video after this so you can see it all. I will be starting out that video with everything plated, okay? And then I will be making the affogato for dessert. But I know because I'm going unedited, I'm just doing a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Now we're good. Uh, because I go unedited, I don't want to waste your time by taking everything off and draining. All of you know how to drain noodles, right? So I don't need to show that. That's a waste of your time. Um, but when I start video number two, which will be the very next one, you will get to see the tea, the completed meal plated, and I will show you how to make the affogato. So, that's coming to a boil. These boil for about nine to 12 minutes. I like mine a little bit. It says 11 to 13. I go nine to 12 because they're, these are unpredictable. Little elbows can be unpredictable. The way I test is I just go in and I, and I kind of check it. You know, I taste and check. What I want in my noodle, because it will continue to cook in the sauce if you pour the sauce over it, uh, I like it a little al dente, so feeling like it's just a hint under is the way I like to do my noodles. I mean, fully cooked, but just that little chewiness, just that little hint of chewiness. And the trick about that is you don't have all of the gluten's release if you go just a hint under. It's just something someone taught me. Uh, she was a naturopath. Uh, doctor and told me just to, I mean, just barely under cook that gluten, you know, that gluten esque, you know, these, this is gluten, guys. It's carbohydrates and gluten. So if you need gluten free noodles, use them. Rice noodles, corn noodles, uh, lentil noodles, garbanzo noodles are all available at your regular grocery stores. Uh, but these are great and it doesn't release, I mean, uh, doesn't release a lot of gluten if you just take it away a touch under the proposed cooking time. So I'm going to open this up and dump it into my little blue pot here, my notice pot. And these are just going to gently, gently, gently steam. Gently steam very, very slowly. Pouring this in, okay, pouring this in, I'm putting that aside. Okay, and what we're gonna do is, um, I wait to give these a little extra, so when these are done, okay, I literally am going to just add more of that vegan butter so that they have that little bit of just that nice creamy flavor Look at that beautiful sauce. Look at that. And another little trick that I do to flavor the veggies is I take just a hint of juice. This is so cool. My grandma used to do this if she made veggies. Just pour a little bit of that sauce. Just a little bit of that juiciness from the marinara. And I put the lid on that and let it cook. So this is all ready to go, okay? All ready to go. And noodles are coming to a boil. Everything that we need for this dinner is pretty much on its way to being done. So all you would need instruction from me about this meal would be to drain your noodles when they're done after about 11 to 13 minutes is what the box says. You pull your veggies after about, you only let them steam for about uh, seven to 10 minutes, seven to 10 minutes. You wanna check them, you don't want mush. 
And you have to be careful with frozen vegetables. You just want them to come up nice and slow. Sauce is totally ready, you guys. It's totally ready. And this is going to conclude my part one. Look for part two. It's coming right after this. And it's going to feature the plated food when it's all done, how I serve it, including the Taviv tea that I make and how I flavor it. And showing you how to make the affogato dessert. Again, if you are new to Dollar Tree type videos and you have fallen upon my little channel, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, become part of the family, and look down below. Go to the next video for part two. I love you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.